Okay. So your underlying energy, guys, is the Ace of Pentacles. So I do feel like this is considering, this reading is, is, is pretty much concerned around one offer, concerned around an offer given to you guys in regards to work, um, starting something new, starting something that can build you to a, a firm foundation and get you to your legacy, build, help you to build your legacy or get, you know, guide you to building your legacy. Um, or not necessarily guide you, but this is a journey towards building your legacy. And this could be, like I said, a long-term relationship um, that could have started. But with, with Pentacles, it takes a long time. It's very slow energy. Okay. Now, with your current state of, bit of being, you guys have the Eight of Wands as your current state of being. So I do get the sense that there's a lot of messages. There's a lot of things moving fast. There's a lot of energy kind of making progress right now. It can be a bit overwhelming, especially considering that there's things that are moving very slow. And, you're, you know, this energy can be can be overwhelming, especially when you kind of don't really see it coming. You guys may have gotten even hit, hit by the arrows of love. So there is a lot, there could be saying some stuff here. There's a lot of passion going on as well that I'm getting. Now what you guys want to be is the high priestess. So you may guys, you guys want, may want to trust your instincts, maybe express something that you may have held in secret for a while. Um, there is something here that you may want to talk to, to your partner about at this time. So, you know, there is something here that you may want to express with someone um, that you may love or someone that you, um, Oh, it's something that you may have held in for quite a long time and you kind of want to express that. Okay. Um, but the thing that's keeping you from being able to um, utilize the high priestess energy, either it is to trust your intuition, go on your instincts, or go ahead and reveal something that you've been keeping a secret, is the hermit. You guys are still kind of cuddled up and kind of retracted and reserved from the world. I feel like you guys are maybe taking a step back um, and you guys are still you know, doing the hermit mode, reflecting and, you know, um, reclusive at this time. And the reason why is because you may have had to leave something behind or you may have left something because it wasn't satisfying for you or um, it just wasn't what you were wanting or what you were looking for emotionally. You may have walked away from a situation, maybe not physically, but emotionally you were just done um, with what you thought you may want it. And that's probably why you guys went and looked within yourself to find the answers of what it is that exactly makes you happy and brings out your heart's desire. Like, what is your heart's desire, period, I feel. Now, for your best path to follow, you guys have the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is indicating to me, it's it's indicating to me a burden that you guys may be carrying, a burden of responsibilities that may not be um, something that you have to carry. Um, maybe you had to leave something emotionally behind because it just you had other things that you had to take care of but ultimately i feel like it's time to put down the burden it's time to you know relieve yourself of this of this burden um that it, that you have a lot of pride for you're finishing out the cycle is you're almost done so just i think it's time i think it's honestly what it's saying is just kind of go through the cycle finish it out and release whatever it is that's you know keeping you from you know keeping you from truly getting to the high priestess Okay, I'm going to pull an extra card for this, actually. See what what else they can tell us about the Ten of Wands. Oh, wow, the Ace of Swords. So, okay, so the reason why they are giving you the Ace of Swords, Capricorn, or the, you know, the, yeah, is well, the, well, the reason why they gave you the Ten of Wands is because of the Ace of Swords. Perhaps it's a new perspective, new ideas, and it's kind of carrying out the the work that you've put in to, an, um, to a cycle that you've already kind of been through. Okay? So you have new ideas, you have things that you want to communicate, new ways of communication here. Um, and a totally different mindset, I feel. But ultimately, you have these burdens of this, of this old cycle that's holding you down. So I feel like completing this cycle and focusing on just finishing it out totally and, you know, cutting it dry is the best way to begin this new cycle of, uh, of, of a new mindset, a new way of communicating, and, and new ideas. Now, how you feel, not the best. You guys have the Ten of Swords. So you guys are kind of feeling like... You know, feeling kind of dead in the dirt, betrayed, just something just kind of cut dead and dry. 
um, something that just ended uh, really, really badly for you guys, and it may not, it really may not have felt good. Um, I feel like right now you guys are just kind trying to recover right now, maybe, but ultimately you guys are not feeling in the best shape or form right now. Um, but the thing is, this which, which is really good about the Ten of Swords is that the worst is over. It can't get any better. It can't get any worse than this. So I feel like right now, guys, it's just that it's it's just the shock factor, and then just the healing portion that's gonna have that's coming through right now. The devastation of the situation is up, but the worst is over. The worst is over, and it's just healing and recovering now. That's what's important. What you guys hopes and fears are is the seven of pentacles. So you guys may be contemplating about what it is that truly, you know, that you truly really want to invest your time and your, your energy to, your dedication and your concentration to. Because right now I feel like you're not quite sure if what you're doing or what, where you guys are in this, especially with this ace of pentacles, if this is something you really want to put your time and energy into. Ace of Pentacles is your underlying energy, so I feel like, yeah, you want to make sure that this, the work that you're going to be putting into this um, Ace of Pentacles with this, with a person, possibly a Virgo or a Sagittarius, like, you want to make sure that this person is worth the time and the effort, or, the, or what you guys are going towards is worth the time and the effort, and I feel like there may be a little bit of doubt, you're not necessarily sure um, if you're going to see, because you haven't seen the rewards so far of putting in, you know, work in the first place. You're feeling pretty dead in the dirt right now. Feeling pretty, if not portrayed, then just pretty much just, you know, just could put pretty much. So I feel like you're, you're worried that there, you may be working very hard and still wait on the rewards that you feel that you deserve. Um. And that is a hard one, right? Considering that it's going to require you to take a risk and just go and trust your intuition. Um, so you've been kind of keeping to yourself because you're just not sure if what you're going to be putting your time into is worth the effort and if you're going to get any rewards from it at all. But one thing I like to say here with the outcome being the temperance is that is is that managing yourself and taking care of your half, taking care of yourself is allowing divine timing to do its work, allowing divine timing to kick in and do what it does best and make things happen. Um, so I do see the outcome talking about balancing things out, rebuilding a flow of things. I mean, because I feel at least how the water is kind of going from one cup to the next. It's just talking about the flow, but the impossibility of things happening, right? That's impossible for water to flow like that from one cup to another with such a distance, but it still can happen. But it's the balance that you have within yourself that's able to make the impossible possible. So do what you need to, you know, so so doing you right here, that's what I see you guys doing, doing you and ma managing you in, you know, doing the best that you can and putting the effort that you can into yourself and into your environment on your part. Not overextending whatsoever is what's giving the energy and the time for the universe or for divine timing to go ahead and give you what it is that you are looking for. But it's going to need, you know, you're going to need to kind of, um, you, you, you're going to need to trust your intuition here. And it's going to require you to kind of have to come out of hiding for a minute, come out of hiding into, a, a, you know, to just address that there is some cycles that need to end so that way you can start something new. Cause you got a new perspective here that's that's just i feel like it's just dying to just come out because this is ace, ace of swords is victory so you have victory here and you're in your best path to follow but it's just going to require you to work to closing this cycle up now for you capricorn i'm going to pull you guys your wisdom of the oracle for the week wow you guys have the thinker 44. So for a lot of you guys, you guys may, this situation is definitely going to require some contemplation, right? For, you know, the seven of pentacles here, it's definitely indicating some time needed to take, some, you know, to think. Um, for a lot of you guys, this, this hermit energy could be the same thing, right? You guys are really, you know, disconnected and not really in, you know, you're, you're kind of, you know, separate from the world right now and kind of looking, you know, retracting in yourself to look for answers. And I feel like the, you know, th coming up for, coming up with answers here is the best way to kind of, you know, find this commitment in yourself to really 
trust your intuition okay because i feel like once you're committed to something once you're ready to just determine and just determined enough to get something you will gun it you'll follow your intuition here but you need to you need to be sure that you're committed to something that you feel is worth your time and worth your effort so i feel like right now completing the cycle and dropping the burden of this past cycle to allow your new ideas to shine is what's going to bring out this is going to bring out the confidence that you're looking for to be able to successfully guide you towards stability, stability support and security all right guys i'm going to pull you guys your whispers of love for the week You guys have appreciate this moment each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and to love and yeah and to, and find love so appreciating this moment right now as hard as it is the worst is over I think I think that's the part that's really what is emphasizing the craziness that y'all had to endure has finally come to a close y'all can finally you know start to recover and get stronger utilize the perspective from the last cycle and push that as your agenda towards your new found stability and security your new opportunity in building something more stable more grounded more concrete i feel so in a sense i know it's difficult as it is to kind of have to look at your situation and just kind of almost nearly dread it but see that how much you've come for so far with how much you've endured and you're still standing i know right here you're not still standing emotionally you're pretty you're, you're pretty much night like out cold but there is something after this card you still get up you still have to you know you still recover from this card so even even if this here is you know the absolute devastation you still have made it to the end you survived it you are a survivor here so i do sense that you just have to complete this because you have survived the worst it's just ending the cycle okay all right capricorn i oof, i know this is crazy you guys can make it you guys are strong you're determined and you guys are literally the goats that climb that mountain you don't stop till you get what you were looking for and I'm believing y'all, okay? It's just gonna require you guys to really consider, consider, you know, yourself, consider what it is that you're trying to build, trust your intuition, and, re and really put down the burdens of this last cycle here. To allow your new ideas, your new way of communicating, um, your new perspective to purge. 